these backpacks can slow tumor growth by virtue of the fact that they resist phagocytosis. So phagocytosis is this process that immune cells um, have that allow them to eat things in their environment. Macrophages are very phagocytic. They're perhaps the most phagocytic cell in our bodies. Tumors can have up to 50% by weight immune cells. And so what this backpack technology does is it really releases drugs that targets those immune cells. And it basically turns them on, it activates them, and it helps uh, direct a fight or an attack against those, those cancer cells. We think this technology is really best suited for solid tumors. Um, so that can range from breast tumors, prostate, um, melanoma tumors, and things like this. The next step is to really work out a lot of other details um, like biodistribution, um, safety, um, toxicity, and things like this. And we want to do these studies really carefully in animal models first, just to make sure that we really understand how it works. Um, and then the next step would be in humans. So uh, it, it's hard to give an exact answer for the time frame or the timeline that we envision. Um, but you know, hopefully in the next 10 years, we, we could see this moving toward a clinical trial. Thank you.